What's good YouTube? Jay Wick here, back with another one. Thanks for stopping by to check out my channel. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. But today's video, I'm showing you how to install this Magwell by Strike Industries. It's a Gen 5 version compatible with the Glock 19, 23, and also the Glock 44 chambered and 22 long rifle. I bought this Magwell for my Glock 23 from Palmetto State Armory for only $17 to help with speedy reloads and to help with my grip as well. If I'm in a situation where I need to reload, then I would like to do so as quickly and as efficiently as possible. But before we get to installing this Magwell, I've already posted tutorial videos on how to change a back strap, install this Streamlight TLR 1HL gun light, and how to switch out the Glock back plate or rear slide cover. I added all the videos in a tips and tutorials playlist as well as my Glock playlist so check both of those out but let's go ahead and get to installing this magwell on my glock 23. safety first as always the gun is clear as you can see no rounds in the magazine no rounds in the chamber as well we're all clear and empty here i didn't know this prior to purchasing this uh, magwell from strike industries but it has one big downside or flaw i personally don't like and that's the fact that you have to remove any additional back straps so the medium or large back strap will not work with this magwell so i will have to take this off unfortunately obviously i won't need that for now while i unbox and install this so let me go ahead and unbox it and see what comes with it now um this was, like I said, mentioned earlier, a pretty cheaper option. Um, I'm personally not going to spend a hundred bucks on a Magwell. I'm sorry, I know there's a lot of like steel ones made out of steel, whatnot, that are obviously a little more rugged. But hey, I'll take some strong polymer plastic like this one here and uh, do the same job. So this is the Magwell itself, as you can see here. Looks pretty nice. I like the overall low-profile design, how it looks and. They give you a Allen wrench as well as a screw with Loctite on it. You can see this blue Loctite on the threads here. That's on there. It's nice that they actually do that. And I mean, honestly, y'all, it's really kind of self-explanatory. Um, just take this, the bottom of the frame here, and kind of stick it over like so. Probably easier to do the front first and lift the back. Let's do this. A little tricky here. Oh, there we go. And see, it's literally quick and easy and oops, <laughs> easy, quick and easy to take off as well. But let me go ahead and push this back on. Just trying to give you guys a little picture here before I actually go ahead and screw it down oh, sure it has to break in gotta have a break-in phase like the gun but no it should be here we go just gotta make sure it's getting on this little little lip right there and that's how she looks ladies and gentlemen keep turning on this light but she looks real nice and slim I like that low profile look. It looks actually really clean. I like that. So you would literally just, after you get that up, make sure that this hole you can see through here, you see the threads, and make sure that you put the Loctite screw in there. Make sure you know turn it a little bit to catch some traction. And once you fully, um, hand tighten as much as possible. Just go ahead and twist it a couple times to make sure it's secure to the firearm. I just wouldn't over tighten this. This is polymer. Polymer can break, it can crack, it's plastic. So I would just tighten it, but just don't over tighten it like so. And voila, there you go. Looks actually pretty good. Looks secure on all four sides, looks good. See how it feels in my hand. Oh, I kind of do like it though because it helps, as you see with my grip here, it helps push my pinky up, which is nice and hopefully give a better grip on the firearm. 
It's just pretty clean there. So, um, feels good so far. I don't know about this screw back here. Maybe after shooting, you know, at the range, shooting a couple hundred rounds, it might be annoying, but obviously in a life or death situation, you might not actually even notice because your adrenaline be running so high. So, I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna have to take this out to the range soon and test it out. Um, but I do like how it looks on there. But the thing that probably sucks, and I'm sure this won't work, but let me see if this, I don't think I can work. Oh, nope, see, look at that, y'all. <laughs> sucks, can't use the X grip extended mag with this because clearly it's not made for it to have um, this extra lip from this uh, X grip here that which is convenient to give you turn into a full size Glock but you know what let me go ahead and get a let me go ahead and get a magazine real quick and see what it looks like with the flush 13 uh, plus one magazine okay I'm back now with a 13 round standard magazine as you see it's still empty not that in the chamber still, but I honestly do like in how it fits. It fits real flush and it's real nice how it looks under there. And I like how it kind of has it um, like it's curved up in the back. So, you know, it can help sometimes when the mags are, you know, hard to extract or get stuck. It seems like it just can just, you know, easily pull them out and yank them out like so. But yeah, uh, functionality-wise, it looks fine. I really like the low-profile design, like I mentioned. Um, just don't know the longevity of this screw from shooting it, you know, hundreds of rounds. And grip barely touches it here when I'm trying to, you know, take it and take aim with the firearm. It, it barely hits that part of my hand, like it's literally millimeters away or whatnot. But I mean, obviously over shooting hundreds of rounds, it might come a nuisance, but um, so far after installing this, the pros and cons for this is uh, I literally only paid $17 for it. It's easy to install. It li it's lightweight. It fits well around my fingers to get a good purchase. And I like how this bottom part, this front bottom part of the magwell helps my pinky like lift it up. So I'll probably, actually might even shoot it a little better with this magwell on it to be honest so i'll uh be sure to test it out soon and let you guys know and um like i said i overall like the low profile design um so far obviously without testing in the real world the only con for me i can honestly think of is not having to not being able to use any of the back straps Oh, and as well as using the X grip, but uh, overall it looks it's nice and it's, like it looks flush. I, how, I like how it you know looks or whatnot. But I will be at the range in a few days to test this new Magwell out. I will also test to see if I shoot better with or without the Magwell. So I'm gonna test and see if I shoot better with the back strap on there or with this Magwell on it and obviously the back strap not on it since I can't have um, the best of both worlds. Leave a comment down below if you use a Magwell, and if so, let me know which one you use. I appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for sticking to the end. More videos coming soon, and I'm going to be heading to an outdoor range soon as well to shoot since the temperature is starting to drop. Fall is on the horizon. Like I always say, stay alert, stay safe, and stay vigilant. Jaywick out.